Hey everybody, I am coming making this video message and I want to tell you, you should never have an aim to be a likable person, but instead you should somewhat want to be relatable. Now before I dig into the message, let me give you guys the definition of both words. To be likable just means you are looked at as pleasant, you are looked at as nice, you are looked at as a person who is easy to get along with. That is what likable means. On the other hand, relatable just means that people are sympathetic to something they hear about you. So for example, say you are somebody that you share your testimony in certain sentence about who you used to be or what you used to do so we'll just say it's some people out here they used to do drugs and so they will share that with some people depending on the appropriate time and what setting they're in if they're in a comfortable setting or at an engagement or whatever it can even happen in ministry and somebody in the church calls somebody up for testimony time people will share who they used to be and what they used to be involved in and then when people feel comfortable and safe enough they may also come out and say you know what my sister you know what my brother I also used to be on drugs and God delivered me I overcame that demon and so when you share different things about yourself uh, maybe some people out here you used to strip you used to drink maybe you used to be a gang banger maybe you used to be a drug dealer maybe at one point you lost your mind you didn't even no longer know or understand your surroundings or who you were but God delivered you and he brought your mind back together and made it to be clear and sound whatever the case is and whatever it looks like for you you are relatable to somebody but I want you all to understand something because a lot of people they fear not being likable they fear people not liking them they fear people rejecting them this legitimately bothers some people and you will see some people and I'm telling you it's sadder when you see full grown men and women do it where they try to do certain things to be liked and accepted by certain people some people they feel a type of way about rejection now for those of you who are not saved and you're viewing this message when you talk to us when i say us i'm saying christian people you will hear a lot of us tell stories and talk about how we have at some point or another or probably currently are experiencing or have experienced heavy rejection and so when you hear people talking about that don't always assume that they are depressed about it don't always assume that they are angry about it and they're sitting somewhere behind the scenes crying tears about it no but on the other hand there are some people when they experience heavy rejection they don't know how to handle it they don't know what to do about it and so they will start to act like they're something that they're not they will even change how they physically look they will work their fingers to the bone in order to change their hair in order to change how they dress in order to gather things that they know <clears throat> excuse me would attract certain people so they can be likable Jesus Christ himself was not a likable person I've told you all this numerous times before Jesus when he would encounter people on a daily basis in those ancient biblical times Jesus more so told people who he was and what he was on the earth to do and he also told people what he was going to do after he left the earth physically but Jesus did not step on the scene trying to be likable. He came, he told people he was the son of man. He told some people, I'm the son of God. He told some people he was the son of David. Or people asked him, they would address him as the son of David. And he would tell them, yes, I am he. But he was not trying to be likable. Jesus didn't sit back and cry and weep because people did not like him. And also to go further and deeper into that, when Jesus was able to pick up that somebody was still in their heart denying him being the son of man and the uh, son of God, he would tell them, you are still denying me. You still don't believe me. Or he would tell them, like he told the disciples, you know, you have little faith. So Jesus, because I got to set the tone here. Jesus was not a likable person. He was not pleasant when he stepped on the scene to do a particular thing. Shall we go to when he came into the temple? 
when he came into the temple and people were doing all types of ungodly things they were cheating people out of money they had um unequal scales where they were charging or overly charging people for goods that they were buying and trading he turned over tables he beat people he whipped them he yelled at them there are several accounts in the bible where jesus had what you call righteous anger and he yelled he would go off and so he was not a likable person when he was telling people to repent when he was telling people to sell their goods and pick up their cross and follow him people would get sad people would feel some type of way when he was telling people what his purpose was people didn't like that he told governors who he was he told uh pontius pilate Pilate, which uh, Pontius Pilate was a governor in Judea. He let him know who he was. And Pontius Pilate, he felt some type of way about that. Okay, which ultimately led to the crucifixion of Christ. But I want to let you all know, none of us are Jesus Christ. But on the earth, we have a purpose. We have a job to do. And so it is critical. It is imperative that wherever you go, whoever you are, face with whether it's in your job whether it's in the workplace whether it is in your friend circle whether it is in your own family members you need to understand don't work yourself over time trying to be a likable person now i'm not saying to be mean i'm not saying to be uppity and arrogant I'm not saying to call people out of their name or make them feel like they are inferior under you. But you need to be very confident and clear uh, and clear about what God has called you to do. Okay? You don't go anywhere trying to get people to accept you. But you can be relatable because when you stop being relatable in some way in some shape or form people will reject you and they will close their ear to what you are here to do so if you're trying to teach if you are trying to preach if you are trying to speak word of wisdom or a word of knowledge into somebody's life even if god have placed a mantle and a gifting and anointing of a prophetic um gift on you people will close you out because they cannot relate to you if they sense or they feel like you think you're better or you feel that you're high and mighty and you're trying to make them feel like or even look like they are the scum of the earth they will no longer accept you and so I'm here to tell you all today, it is okay if you are not necessarily a likable person. That does not mean that you be a nasty person. That does not mean that when you show up at work, when you show up to church, when you get around your friends, when you get around your family, and when you leave out of your house or wherever you lay your head at, and you go and you enter into the public realm, it does not mean that you be a nasty, disgusting, disrespectful person. But you don't go anywhere where you're trying to be likable i know the world has tried to deceive us into thinking that hey listen you got to be likable when you go somewhere if you start talking about your religion if you start telling people certain things they need to stop doing automatically that's gonna uh make people deem you as being judgmental the thing about it is that you gotta go back to what christ has had you to do if Christ has told you to go amongst the people with boldness and courage and tell people to repent, there is a way you do it. You do it respectfully, you do it righteously, and you do it in love, but you don't apologize for it. You don't have to be likable. You don't have to dress any type of way in order for a crowd to like you. Because number one, are these people who feel like they don't accept you because of how you dress, are they going to go into their bank account and give you money to go and buy a whole new wardrobe? I think not. If people don't like how you wear your hair, are they going to go into their bank account and withdraw money and give it to you to tell you to get your hair done a certain type of way? I don't really think so. Is somebody going to pour into you to the point that they feel like they're making an investment in you so you can change and turn into the man or woman that they want you to be? 
probably not and if they do it they're doing it with the wrong motive maybe not everybody but a lot of people they will try to make you their project they will want you on a weight loss journey not because in their heart they are concerned about your health and your well-being and they know that there is a better bigger you that can come out on the other side if you drop some pounds meaning that you can do more if you were smaller and if your health was in a better state if it's compromised but some people they want you to be their project because they want the props they want the pats on the back ever see anybody who steps in somebody's life and they say i cleaned that person up i helped him or her come clean from drugs i cleaned them up off of alcohol i helped them to lose weight i inspired them to eat clean i inspired them to start working out with me at the gym they will take the credit for your transformation this is why i'm telling you all stop stressing yourself out trying to be likable stop being afraid to be 100 authentically who you are even down to how you physically look as long as you are clean meaning you don't smell to where you are being offensive to others as long as your hair is clean neat combed and brushed and you are dressed appropriately for the setting you know how to dress when you go to work you know how you should be dressed when you go to church this doesn't mean that it's mandatory you wear um name brand clothing and designer clothing but you know you don't go into the house of god with your breast out you know you don't go to the house of god without wearing any panties or a girdle you know this. You all already know this. Me and you already know not to wear jog joggers and pants to where people can see the print of your penis moving and shaking and bouncing. You all already know this stuff. But what I'm saying is that as a saved man or woman, you all have to get your focus back to the point of this game that we are down here and we are supposed to play. Or maybe that's the wrong wording. I'll say the job that we are designed and created to do by Jesus Christ. You don't have time to be trying to be likable, but you can be relatable. You can share where God has brought you from. You can share what God has brought you through. You can share things that God have said to you that transform your mind that transform your way of thinking and it transform your conduct you can share stories you can share testimonies you can be very inspirational and uplifting because there are some people that will latch on to that and they will know you know what i heard this sister's testimony i heard that brother's testimony i know god is real i can relate to them i know hearing his or her testimony that i am not alone in what i am currently going through or what i have been through in the past that is what i want to let you all know in this video message likable people um and i know a lot of you all probably won't agree with this but it's very real a lot of likable people they tend to be very fake they tend to be very phony and you can look at some people that are really likable. They look exhausted because they are around people trying to be something that they are not. They're trying to talk a certain way. I know people right now, they don't talk in their normal voice. When they get around certain people, they can be a black man or a black woman. I see more so women doing it that they will start talking completely like a white woman. I'm not talking about you talk... Um, and you are articulate. I'm not saying you speak with proper grammar um, or vocabulary. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying they will completely change their voice into a white woman. And they look exhausted. Instead of just talking in their normal tone. I'm not saying talking broken English or talk ghetto. You can talk with appropriate English. It doesn't have to be broken English, but to change your voice to sound like an entire other race, that's a problem. And so people will try to be likable. They will shut down their personal beliefs.
their personal moral standards and values in order to fit in with a crowd because they know the minute that they share you know what i don't like that certain president mm, i don't believe in those certain societal views i don't agree with that it goes against the word of god they know immediately they are no longer going to be a likable person but you have to develop an attitude like this okay if i'm in a certain setting and somebody asks me a personal question or the conversation comes up about okay are you gonna go this way or do you believe in this or do you believe in that or what god do you worship you're gonna have to make a decision either you're going to openly and publicly claim jesus christ or you're gonna shut it down and out of guilt and out of shame you're not gonna take claim to jesus christ that is a very great example there are some people they will not talk about the gospel when they leave out of their home or when they leave out of church because they want to be likable they want to be likable they don't want to make people uncomfortable they don't want to leave a space where they leave something on somebody's mind to make them think so they can be inspired to change their way of thinking or their behavior or their conduct or their heart be relatable but don't ever aim in every situation to be likable you don't have to be likable and i know a lot of you are you're not gonna catch this you're gonna try because it's always somebody in the land that will try to come out of left field they will try to put a scripture taking it totally out of context to make this message be something that is really not i'm not saying to be a nasty person i'm not saying to be a rude and disrespectful person you be pleasant you smile at people you say good morning good evening good night whatever the situation is you shake people's hands you look people in their face you show your confidence okay but you don't aim to be likable you don't shut down who you know you really are you don't change your hair you don't change your dress you don't change your hardcore solid beliefs moral standards and values because you want the acceptance of people and you want people to like you you want people when your name comes up to say mm, this person I like them. I like them. They talking the way I want them to talk. Oh, baby, I, 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 she, she, she welcome to the barbecue. Oh, he welcome to the barbecue. He cool. Oh, well, you know, that person over there, they not really a likable person. If you hear anybody ever say that, ask them, why do you think he or she is not likable? Mm, well, they kind of religious. This is what people do. They'll talk about Oh, that person religious. Well, why do you think they religious? Oh, because they just a Christian and they always be talking about the Bible and stuff like that. They will take it to you, a religious person, and they automatically won't like you. So I'm going to tell you all this. Even if you are a likable person, anytime you start talking about Jesus Christ, anytime you show up somewhere and you have morals and values and standards and you carry yourself well, and you have a good head on your shoulders, I'm going to tell you automatically, that's going to X you out. You're not really going to be likable just simply based out off that. Just based off that, that you know how to carry yourself well. This world is wicked. This world is perverse. This world is dying very quickly. At a rapid rate, people are going down. They are going backwards. So in a lot of settings now, the way that people think, the things that they are consuming online and on social media, you are not going to be likable if you have an inkling of self-respect. If you're not out here doing dirty stuff and backdooring people and you're not coming in the gate doing what the world does or believing what the world believes and thinking what the world thinks, you're not going to be likable. But... I can tell you with all confidence, you can be relatable. Being relatable, it brings souls to Christ. When people understand they're not alone in their fight, they're not alone in their battles, physically or spiritually. When people don't have to be guilty or ashamed of what they've come out of, you can be relatable. 
But you don't need to be focused on who likes you. Being focused on who likes you, it keeps you back. It keeps you stagnated. It will exhaust you because you're trying to fit in a group that you know you really don't fit in. You are probably a misfit. That's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord will and I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.